Oh, hello. I see you're in my store. What is it that you would like? So you want to take a look at the healing stones I have? Or take a look at some charms perhaps? Or would you like something more? To learn about your future, your past, your inner desires, and everything else that might interest you. I see. In that case, I can showcase you some of the newest crystals that just arrived a few days ago and uh, we see how I go from there. Does that sound good? Excellent. This is one of my most favorite pieces. I got it from Europe. Yes, this is where I'm from. That I'm sure you could tell that. It has a certain thing right here where it opens and it closes and if you can see, I don't know, this little mechanism right here, it can keep it closed without opening all the time just by doing this. And inside I hold a petal that I found completely random, randomly in a certain church. I love churches, they have beautiful architecture, and that's the reason why I go inside. Now, let's start, shall we? I'm a busy woman. This is the box. I have my card, my treasures, at least my newest ones. I have an entire um, wardrobe, how you call that, with uh, other crystals and uh, healing stones that I have had since forever. Some pieces I decide to not sell eventually, so I just um, my provider just brings them over and they just never reach the shop. I might show you one or two if you're lucky. So, here. Tons and tons of stones. Let me count them for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17. I will show you some. Now, of course, you don't expect me to know the names of all those stones, correct? I thought so. But I can tell you as much as they really are powerful. 
every each and one in their own specific way. Just like everything that exists after all. So, this is one of the newest ones. When I sell one of those, I always uh, keep it apart from the others and I put it inside paper. Even if um, it is not sensitive or anything, I just for some reason feel that this one should be kept apart. Not so... How can I say? Rubbing with the other stones. Perhaps the energy of this one modifies the others. It's quite a powerful one, really. Please do observe it. Definitely. Most definitely a healing, powerful crystal. I do love how it is transparent, but not entirely transparent. It has it own, its own tint and it gives its own Color. It makes you see things its own way if you look things through it. And I also love the way it has been cut. It's beautiful. Then we have this one. So, this one is more of a milky one. Milky looking one. Definitely stunning. It has, it's been polished, that's why it has more of a smooth, smooth um, surface. It has a certain feeling about it, so I will be holding it, and even though it is cold, the energy that it has is more warm. Now, you might notice, and if you've had crystals before, you might have noticed in the past, the moment you get holding a crystal, the energy of it will start affecting you. And you might feel it in your heart, and you might feel it in your head. Oh yes. There. It's a powerful charm, it really is beautiful, there, it's the petrified heart of a hummingbird and two petrified hearts of frogs. It's been in my family for more than 300 years. A very, very old charm. And the ring also. It is what we call the secret key of Solomon. I don't know if you can see. Yes, not many people know of it. Of course. As witches, though, we can see it and tell what it is from quite a few meters away. Yes, that's one way you can tell which. We do know our symbols. We do know our stars and we do know our plants and potions and charms and many other things. This one it is so beautiful. It reminds me um, hot ice. I think this is the name of it, or how you people call it, non widget hot ice. Or it reminds me um, if a rainbow was frozen, if a rainbow could be 
tangible and it was frozen and people would cut it in pieces and take it home I think this is what it would look like so again you can see inside you can see through it but of course it changes the colors and it changes the um, how do you call that like if it is a straight line and it's seen like this it will not be a straight line those two seem to be working very well together depending on what you want of course is it this healing that you're asking for or perhaps spiritual enlightenment these are definitely stones that you would like to be working with should you be wanting something darker or some the quenching of some passion of yours some love that you may have some lady or some gentleman I don't know what you like each to their own with those things then I have something other something else yes of course let me show you some more light ones then of course huh. tell me more so this is not much into you why? This has never been. And you've been trying so hard. Have you ever considered going to the next person? No? Ah, sweet love. Yes. I remember when I was young, it was exactly the same thing. You think I'm young, don't you? Well, let's just say that some people might look young quite longer than others do. And don't forget I'm a witch. <laughs> We have quite a few things to make us look as we wish. Yes, of course, the elixir. It is not for sale. And I shall not speak further about that. Excellent. Now, those two stones this is, I think, hmm, I think I remember How about this one. I believe this one is the bloodstone. It's quite interesting. First time I saw it, I was wondering why it's called that way. Because it's green. But apparently it has little dots of red. And that resembles blood. So is the name bloodstone a very powerful stone I could use it we could use it to get your love for you if you'd like I take payment up front Let's decide exactly what you want. I might make you a discount. Yes? Excellent. And this stone right here, this stone, helps a lot with self-esteem. Passion, self-esteem, all the good things in life. Freedom breaking free from expectations of others and expectations of yourself for yourself and for others as well very very powerful stone very red one too but I'm 
sure you noticed that. Mm -hmm. It is. It's more of a rough looking one, but in the touch it's just as soft as this one. Yes, I know, it is almost metallic, isn't it? Oh, you like them? Well, I'm glad. No, they're not for sale. I might lend some to you, depending on what we decide on. And by we, I mean I. But you can tell me what you need, and I'll consider it. Oh, they're there. You didn't come to a charity, sweetie. You came to a witch. You can't expect the best kind of behavior. Oh, your mommy is for that. But I'm not your mommy. Now, this one for very intensive light working. This reminds me frozen pieces of moonlight. This is the only way I can describe it. If the moonlight could be taken, harnessed, used, petrified, and um, owned by humans, I think this would be it. You want to know what it is? Well, I shouldn't really say that, but it has something to do with unicorns. Tears of a unicorn. Of course you wouldn't know that this is illegal to have. Hmm. Well, there's nobody that you know that I would be afraid of when it comes to those things. But we witches, we have our own police and our own everything. Some things are illegal, some things are harder to find, and that is definitely one of them. Now this, I might use it for certain spells, but I am not giving it away. And definitely not selling it. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, you think, you really do think <laughs> that I was going to sell something and get money in return. No, definitely not. When I speak of money, I don't speak of your money. I speak of a certain payment. Now that could be the color of your hair. Or that could be every, each and every one of your smiles for a week or a month. That could be your firstborn child. That could be your um, ability to taste sweetness or that could be your eyesight. It could be many things. Like I said before, you came to a witch. Of course, I'll go easy on you. Let us see. Now, bloodstone and as I call it, Moonstone. Mm -mm -mm. No, I showed you Bloodstone. This is Tiger Eye. Observe how beautiful it is. Even by turning it around as little as this, you can see all these colors dancing inside, but not here. So this is what is so amazing with those stones. It is like, it is as if you can see inside of it and there's a second layer and it can dance depending on where the light goes at. Just like a tiger's eye. So I've been having the blue kind and the red kind as well. I don't think I will be showing you those today. Today I'm just showing you the things the pieces that I recently got. Uh, 
Ah, excellent. Hematite. You know this one. You've seen it before. Of course. Perhaps you've had your own fair share with the dark arts. Ah, you have. In what way? A Ouija board. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, that's very interesting. Hmm. It must have been very scary. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely very evolved necromancy from your part. I am very amazed. Of course I'm joking. Hot in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not making fun of you at all. Would I ever do that? There, there, Mr. Client. Don't be getting so upset so easily. Sometimes, when somebody does so, I might get upset myself. And that's something you don't want. Now, in a beautiful, beautiful discussion like we have, let me continue. I showed you the hematite and also there is this. Look at it. It's like if a wizard of Oz, have you read the book? Of course. Oh, you also saw the movie. Mm. All right. So you do enjoy magic. Hmm. I like this about you. Good. You have this thing in common then. Oh yes. Which for the generations. Not every person gets it. I think it skips two, gen two or three generations. I was one of the lucky ones. Now, to go back on what I was saying, this looks like, I would imagine this would be like one of the tiles of uh, the castle of the city of Oz. Because look at it. It's so deep, wholesome green, dark, enchanted forest green but it also has all these glitters these little stars trapped inside of it lots of magic and darkness and also this deep beautiful green yes definitely reminds me of a mother it truly is amazing the variations, the subtle variations of green inside. From darker green to less darker green, but not too much. And the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sparkles all over it. Let me show you. Can you watch it? Can you see? There you go. Like a cloud. Yes, you can call it like a cloud too. Okay. Now, next piece that I really, really enjoy 
is definitely this one. This one, it reminds me of hmm, a sea that is angry and you can see the foam between here and here and the rest of the sea it's transparent as water is but the foam is more white and it's on the it's on the top not inside this is what it reminds me yes you can also say it looks like skin i don't know whose skin but perhaps like if you see the skin and you go really really close with some of your machines maybe then you know, i'm glad you're enjoying yourself you do have to tell me what is it that you're here for then yes please do tell oh health mental health is health so you feel less balanced I can definitely help you with that but you have to do your own share of work I will give you something hmm. let me think about it for a little while while you observe this one this one is one of the stones that definitely help with balancing your life your personality and cutting off the drama of course it's the dark side of you that likes the drama you know that yes that little feeling when you're sad there is some little part of you that is happy about you being sad come on now you can admit things to me i'm not gonna tell you're not gonna tell either on me oh i know so there's nobody you can tell Look at it. It's beautiful. Do you see these beautiful stripes inside? Look at them. Here they make like a circle. It feels like if you put your thumb in here, it's going to be pulsating. I know. They're all beautiful. There's the circle. I know. It's not as... Um, how do you call that? It's more like a rough, a rough area here. But it's still... It's still pretty, pretty smooth. Compared to some other rocks that I have. I feel that the rocks that are not as smooth the ones that have uh, the ones that have lots of um, how can I say like less smooth of a surface. These are the ones that are usually breaking very very easy. Oh, and the other thing: should I give you a stone, any stone, you are to keep it away from the sun. If you leave it in the sun, if the sun can see it for many days. First of all, it's going to lose the color, and second of all, it's going to lose all the nice dark energy. I wouldn't want that, and if I don't want something, then you don't want something. <laughs> Me? Being the dominant? No. I'm just being myself, remaining truthful to my nature. Now this, it doesn't seem like much, does it? With this, you can do shadow work. Oh no! 
I don't do this sort of magic. When I speak of shadow work, I speak of your inner shadow. This is a little part of us that makes us fail, that makes us cut off from relationships, that makes us, that tells us that we're not worthy. You do not know the shadow? It's been told many times through history, through other religions, except for the Wiccan one. Yes. Oh, so you read some parts of it. Yes, that's it. Yes, like the yin and yang. Mm -hmm. The black and white, the shadow and the light. You think you have no shadow? You're quite cute. Embrace yourself, sweetie, before he wraps you up. Now, this is the best for shadow work. When you do realize you have a shadow, come back and we can talk some more. Now, I'll be closing this. And showing you a little bit of this. Every witch has one. <laughs> of course, tarot cards, silly. Well, what did you expect? It is definitely very well used from us. Even here, you can tell it has the magician. The magician. I love tarot cards. You can use it for it to tell you your future, your present, or your past. Which one would it be? Your future. What do you want to know about? Interesting, that girl again. You really are enchanted. You see a witch? Maybe. Interesting. All right. Since you're so enamored with this little witch, what is her name? Alicia. Sounds like a witch. You will choose one card, and with that card, I'll be able to understand exactly where you're standing at with this situation. It seems simple enough, yes? All right. Choose. The top one, this. Excellent. Are you sure? Most definitely. You have the tower. Quite a powerful card. Quite powerful indeed. No, no, don't be scared. Yes, I know. Ah, you've been doing your studies on tarot. Putting the rest aside. 
even here in the Well, I know that it can look rather intimidating if you take a look, a good look at it. Yes, burning people falling from windows of a, of a tower and a crown falling down is definitely not something that says hello and friendly. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. But like I said, I'm a witch and therefore I can tell things. Things that the little books about tarot cannot tell you. Because I can connect the situation and explanation of a certain tarot card with your situation. So the tower usually is about allowing a changing situation to come in your life because it is going to do it anyway. So you might as well allow it and go easy on it instead of resisting. Resisting helps in nothing after all. A very good friend of mine said that the secret of the universe and life itself is change. Trying so hard to resist it, oh, you're only delaying your life, sweetie. Your life. Or more like your perspective of life. You're delaying this. That's the only thing you're doing. Nothing but that. Now, since you got this, and we are referring to the situation that you have with your little lady, hmm, more like not your little lady, this means that she won't be yours. And you need to understand it, get used to it, and go on. There is a perfect, intimate other for every one of us. It could be 1, 2, 10, 20, 30,000, whichever. But there are some people, and they're just not for us. And that is what it is. Instead of struggling to understand what it is that she doesn't like about you, try to be yourself, try to like yourself. Try to do things that you like and eventually you find a person that likes you and you won't be able to understand again what is it that they like about you. And it doesn't matter. Some things, they have no explanation. So for instance, why do I like this person? Because I do. Why don't I like this person? Because I don't. It is as simple as that. For instance, why do you like chocolate? Because I do. And why don't you like vanilla? Because I don't. It doesn't have to be more thought about. It doesn't have to be a problem that will last for decades. It doesn't have to be a situation with tears. It's as simple as that. And so are most situations with humans we encounter. Yes. Take it as it is and go on. Allow the change to happen. Don't resist it. There is nothing you can do about it anyway. The only thing you can control in life is your perception of things. Yes, you cannot control your future. You can aim for something. You can go towards something, but sometimes luck has its own little plans. Yes, I know, my dear, my arms are full of tattoos. Oh, I love them. Some more, mm, would you say, more like um, sacred ones? Oh, yes, I do have one. That's not for you. No, it's on my rib cage. Still not for you. Now, carrying on to help you with your transition, I have something. Mm. 
Now, to give you this, I will have to take something in return. And like I said, I get payment up front. It will help you, oh, of course, you want to see what you're getting. It will help you a lot with transitions, with not suffering, with accepting situations as they are, not crying, not going through the entire emo phase, all these things. Hmm. You don't want it? Are you sure? You want it. How about you think about it for a little while? How about I think about it for a little while? Just because I'm being charitable and I'm considering giving you something doesn't mean I'll be feeling the same in a little while. No, you really want it. All right. So, let's see. Let us see. This. It's a crystal, of course. Part yellow and part white, yes. It's one of the three most powerful crystals. It has such high vibrations, it actually doesn't have to be cleaned. Of course, when I say cleaned, I mean cleaned from bad energy. With most crystals, all you need is salt and water, but with some of them, because they are salt themselves, you're not supposed to be putting any water. And even with the salt, you're still supposed to be putting some fabric around it, embrace the crystal and not just drop salt in it. You have to be kind, sweetie. Yes, that won't end well. Very kind. So this, will help you with transition and then there is something else much darker and more intrusive this will help you enchant your love go against everything that she desires so that she will desire only you, you and only you. No, of course it's not good magic. Did you not hear when I said it's darker? Which one will it be? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not the evil one here. I give you two choices. You're the one who decides. What is the price? Oh, well, let's see. For this one, the price is exactly what you asked for. So, the price will be for you to get exactly what you asked for. Oh yes, that is the karma part, and for my part, it will be, oh, let me think, what is it that I would like from you? Hmm. Do you happen to have any cats, dogs? You have a kitty, what a beloved little animal. I happen to love cats. I have three of them. Excellent. Your cat is mine. No. You can come and see it here in the store if you want to. That and something else. I take away your right to ever do any kind of tattoo art or 
uh, piercing art on yourself or cutting your hair in a different than the standard form, the standard little thing that everybody does. Something special, something that says you. Yes, you'll be dressing up normal, cutting your hair normal, I'll be having your cats, you won't be able to do tattoos or piercings, and you'll get exactly what you asked for. This is the price for this one. It's a big one, I know. Oh, you don't consider it a big one. Well, well, well. <laughs> we speak again in a few months. And this one. Yes, I shouldn't even put them close to each other. One is really dark magic, one is really light magic. It comes from the mother. This, as you can see, there's like certain things, but it also has been created by a human, by a witch. Yes, there's definitely a lot of dark, dark witchcraft in it. I can definitely feel it pulsating in my hand. Not gonna hold it for long, although I know how to handle those situations. Let's see about you. Or should it be this one? This one, I shall charge you a dance. You will make a very funny chicken dance for me. Yes, right here. Very funny, happy chicken dance for me. To amuse me. To make me laugh. And then this will be yours. It is as simple as that. Well, what were you expecting? I told you, this is light magic. Light magic? I cannot ask for something that would go for dark magic. No, not at all. That's how situation works. I know. Well, you will be quite surprised. So, I'm closing in a little while and you're getting me tired. What will it be? Mm-hmm. You decide to go with the dark magic. I must warn you. You will only be happy with it for a little while. You don't care. You don't take my warning. Fine. I'll be expecting your cat tomorrow morning. Oh no, I'm not giving you this just like that. I take payment up front, like I said. You may see your little kitty and your rides. Then, then I can have this. Then you can have this. <laughs> and if for any reason you disobey my rules or decide to do something else, this will be returned to me. Or more like this power will be returned to me. You won't be working anymore. Of course you felt about disobeying the rules. Everybody does that. Keep it in mind. Of course it will take something with it. If you don't like it, then eventually that's the reason why you, learn, you try to disobey the rules. Because you don't like the effect anymore. You should know that it's not just that it stops working, it takes something with it. I don't know what that would be. Hopefully you won't have to know either. My ring. What do you want to control?
these beings are uncontrollable. Yes, doing somebody's beat for a payment is not exactly controlling someone. Now, the ring itself holds no power, the person wearing it, the knowledge what it holds, the training, the understanding, all those things are the ones that hold the power, the ancient knowledge, you can wear a ring that doesn't mean that it makes you rich. Either way, have it your way. I will hold this for you. There was another person that also wanted it. Yes, this city is filled with fools lately. No, not you, of course, not you. Somebody else. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is how I do my makeup. Halloween. Yes, it is. No, this is just how I do my makeup. Do you have something to say about that? I thought so. I know. It's pretty beautiful. And it's definitely of my own device. Mm -hmm. It just came to me the other day. I thought to myself, why should I make my makeup like everybody else when I can do something so much more unique and me that describes me? Not that you'll be able to do any of those things now that you'll be having this. Oh no, you exchange those freedoms. No more being unique for you, standard child. Mm-hmm. Well, enjoy being with the love of your life. <laughs> See you tomorrow morning for payment and then you'll be receiving another gem. Perhaps that will give you some time to consider what you're about to do. Yes. That it is. Goodbye.